Hi, today we are going to look at a pest and disease of cowpea. My name is Shana Sukra. In this presentation, we are going to look at the different stages of pest and disease symptoms of cowpea, which is also known as Bodhi. Just to give a brief introduction of cowpea, its botanical name is Figna unguliculata and is an annual herbaceous crop. It has a well-developed taproot system and its origin is from Africa. Before we go into the actual presentation, we are going to define what is a plant disease. A plant disease is usually defined as abnormal growth and or dysfunction of a plant. Diseases are the result of some disturbance in a normal life process of the plant. We are also going to take a look at what is a pest. A pest is a destructive insect that attacks crops. So the pests and disease in cowpea are as follows. First we will look at the diseases. One of the first diseases is cholerot. Cholerot, its characteristics include an oval or spinal shaped brown black lesions having length ranging from 0.2 to 8 cm at soil level near collar region, cradling the basal portion of the stem. You are able to control this disease by a recommended fungicide as a soil drench, avoid continuous cropping of cowpea on the same field, avoid excessive N2 application. Here is a picture of what colorot in cowpea looks like. It is one of the most severe soil-borne disease due to environmental conditions like high temperature and humidity causing severe heat loss. Colorot is most severe at seedling stage. Web blight is severe at the vegetable stage. You can control web blight by the use of free seed, avoid dense planting and use a fungicide that is recommended. Here we can see a picture of how the web blight disease affects the leaves in the cowpea plant. The cowpea yellow mosaic virus, the symptoms include leaf varying from green mortal to severe mosaic, leaf distortion, blistering and plant death. You can control this by the use of resistant cultivars, plant disease free seeds, control vectors with insecticides. Here is a pic of how the discoloration looks in the cowpea yellow mosaic. The other disease is anthracnose that causes fungal wilt. So to the upper left you will see a magnified picture of the anthracnose which causes the fungal wilt. This affects the yield of the cowpea, it affects the seed quality, it affects the marketability of the crop. And the symptoms is a fungus that infects all stages of the plant, flowering, potting, pre-emergent seedlings and vegetable growing stages. The leaves, they first develop lesions on the leaf petioles, the lower surface of leaves and leaf veins as small angular brick red to purple spots which become dark brown to black. Here we move on to the pest of cowpea, also known as Bodhi, keeping that in remembrance. First pest, we will look at this leaf hopper, which feeds by puncturing the underside of leaves and sucking out plant juices. Their toxic saliva causes spotting, yellowing, leaf curling, stunting and discoloration of plants. Here we will continue by looking at the actual pest, which is a leaf hopper. And we move on to the bud borer, which hides in the folded leaves because this protects it from the hot sun and dry air, which can kill it. It causes damage to the flowers, leaves, and part of the cowpea. So we can get from that, once it is exposed to the sunlight and the dry air, it can kill it. So an effective way of killing it is exposing it to the sunlight or the dry air. It is also very common to see many small yellow or brown balls stuck to the sides of a damaged bud. The cowpea aphids injects a powerful toxin into the plant while feeding and when their numbers are high this can stunt or even kill plants. And here to sum up 
what we have looked at thus far. We looked at the pests and diseases of cowpea, and the diseases include the cholerot, the web blight, the yellow mosaic virus, and the anthrax nose. And we looked at the cholerot and web blight, and we found out that it is one of the most severe soil borne disease due to environmental conditions like high temperature and humidity, causing severe heat loss. The cholerot is most severe at seedling stage, and a web blight is severe at the vegetable stage. And our pests included the leaf hopper, the pod borers, the aphids, all of which, in the long run, if not treated, can cause death to the plant. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed it.